Formation of Sonderkommando Elbe The Sonderkommando Elbe was a special unit formed by the German Luftwaffe during the closing stages of World War II, employing a desperate and unconventional tactic. Mission of Desperation Comprising volunteer pilots, the Sonderkommando Elbe's mission was to ram Allied bombers with their own aircraft, a tactic born out of desperation as Germany faced imminent defeat. Historical Context the formation of Sonderkommando Elbe reflects the dire situation of the German military in the final months of the war, with a diminishing air force and Allied air superiority. Formation and Purpose Creation of Sonderkommando Elbe Formed in early 1945, Sonderkommando Elbe aimed to counter the overwhelming numerical and technological superiority of Allied bombers. Desperation of the German Air Force with Germany unable to match the Allies in conventional air combat, the use of suicide pilots was seen as a desperate measure to disrupt the air war. Volunteer recruitment. Pilots, mostly experienced airmen, volunteered for the Sonderkommando Elbe missions, knowing the high likelihood of not returning. Tactics and training. Kamikaze tactics. Inspired by Japanese kamikaze tactics, Sonderkommando Elbe pilots were trained to ram their aircraft into the wings or fuselage of Allied bombers. Targeting bomber formations. The primary target was the heavily escorted bomber formations, where the destruction of a single bomber could have a significant impact. Single-use aircraft. The pilots were aware that their missions were essentially suicide missions, and the aircraft used were often stripped of unnecessary weight for higher speeds. Operational deployments. First mission on April 7, 1945. Sonderkommando Elbe conducted its first mission on April 7, 1945, with a group of Focke Wolf FW-190 fighters targeting American B-17 bombers. Limited success. The success of the missions was limited, with a few instances of bombers being damaged or shot down, but the overall impact on the air war was minimal. Challenges in execution. Executing ramming attacks posed challenges, as the pilots had to navigate through heavy anti-aircraft fire and enemy fighter cover to reach their targets. The final days of the war. Endurance of Sonderkommando Elbe. Despite limited success and the high casualty rate among the volunteer pilots, Sonderkommando Elbe continued its missions in the waning days of the war. Ineffectiveness and losses. The tactic, while showcasing the desperation of the German military, proved largely ineffective in altering the course of the air war. Escalation of Allied bombing. As the Allies intensified their bombing campaigns, Germany faced increasing devastation, further limiting the impact of the Sonderkommando Elbe missions. Casualties and sacrifices. High pilot casualties. The missions of Sonderkommando Elbe resulted in high casualties among the volunteer pilots, many of whom perished during their ramming attempts. Limited impact on Allied bombers. Despite the sacrifices, the overall impact on Allied bomber formations was not sufficient to reverse the tide of the air war. Recognition of bravery. The courage and sacrifice of the Sonderkommando Elbe pilots were acknowledged by the German military, even as the effectiveness of the tactic was questioned. Post-war reflections. Controversies and ethical questions. The use of suicide pilots raises ethical questions, and the concept of sacrificing pilots in kamikaze-style attacks remains controversial in post-war reflections. Debate on effectiveness. Historians and military strategists continue to debate the effectiveness and strategic value of the Sonderkommando Elbe missions. Legacy of Desperation. The legacy of Sonderkommando Elbe reflects the desperation and grim reality faced by Germany in the final days of World War II. Commemoration and memorialization. Recognition of sacrifice. Despite the controversial nature of their missions, efforts have been made to recognize the sacrifice of Sonderkommando Elbe pilots. Memorials and commemorative events. Memorials and commemorative events honor the memory of the pilots who volunteered for these perilous missions. Museum exhibits. Some aviation museums showcase the history of Sonderkommando Elbe as part of the broader narrative of World War II air warfare. Conclusion. Remembering Sonderkommando Elbe. The story of Sonderkommando Elbe serves as a poignant reminder of the extreme measures taken by a desperate military in the closing days of World War II. Subscribe for more untold stories. Subscribe to our channel for additional episodes.